All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. I hope uh, you are having a great day and make sure, uh, you know, you check out the channel. If you're new here, subscribe, hit that notification bell and everybody like and comment and stick around on the channel. Uh, we have lots of fun here. Uh, so we're going to do a review here. And if you like, by the way, a little different setup, let me know how you guys uh, like the new setup. Uh, when you're remodeling your bathroom, sometimes you end up with extra giant floor tiles. I think this looks pretty cool. Uh, it is rock though, or, or tiles. So I hope I don't like bash any blades against it, but anyway, we'll see. Uh, so if you like knives under 50, under $60, this is going to be for you. This is the Kershaw knives layup. Uh, this is the 2047, 55, almost $56, I think. Yeah, $55 actually. Um, and it is assisted and it is a polymer handle material. So usually those things sort of cross you off of the knives fast list pretty quickly. <laughs> but I got to tell you guys, I like that Kaiser, Kaiser Kershaw is trying some things and this is actually good. Uh, I like this and for the package it is at the price it is, I'm pretty impressed. So let's get into it. First of all, uh, you do have this polymer black handle material, and it's like soft uh, skateboard tape is sort of what I would describe it as. It's So it's not super jagged like that. It's, you know, very nice. It's not going to scuff your hands up or mess them up, but it's very grippy. You see that? And that's why I'm probably going to title this something, this something like uh, Budget work knife because that's exactly what I picture this as. Now you do have very nice chamfered edges. Uh, you do have the Dura lock, by the way, we'll talk about that. We do have a reversible clip. Now the clip sits on top, but you do have flat screws. It is a very nice clip for retention. Great loop over. You have just that corner up here kind of sticking out on both sides, black hardware. Uh, now, it's interesting um, the way this is put together. I, I did not take it apart, but you only have the pivot screw showing on one side, and the other side, it's completely covered. So my guess is this is set up to take, take off and put different scales on. Now, we'll see if Kershaw actually comes out with different scales, but that's what it looks like to me. It is a lot of screws, so if you don't like that look, maybe this one's not for you. Uh, now, you do have a nice big swedge across the top of that blade. You do have a silver axis uh, bar, you know, we could, or Dura bar, I guess. Uh, we could talk about whether that should be black uh, it doesn't bother me, again, because you have stainless colored liners. Um, you do have uh, blue standoffs, which is really cool. Um, and, you know, I almost think everything on this, I don't know. I get trying to do, like, the accents, uh, and the blade is silver, so I get it. Um, but it is flat scales, but it does feel really good. Now, you have a nice flipper tab. It doesn't stick out too far and it has excellent jimping. Now this guy is assisted and you can see when I hit that flipper tab and it is a light switch, uh, it just snaps open. Um, really interesting. Now, uh, you guys know, I like the knives that you can get kind of a, uh, a, a, a rhythm that are this way, meaning, uh, you're going to get, you know, some, some fidgetiness. Now you're not going to get that. Cause if you try to throw this down, it's going to Bounce back up on you. Tell you what, I need to, I'm still figuring out this new setup. I'm going to tilt up just a little. There we go. All right. So uh, you can see it does have an excellent detent. Okay. You can see there it's not coming out. That spring is ready to go. And when you reach a certain point, it's going to go whether you want it to or not. Okay. So if you actually mean it, it just flies open. And then if you take this and you go part way down with it, and you just grab that jimping. Guys, here's why I'm okay with this being assisted. If you just lightly push that down, it goes almost halfway, and then you just do that. Um, most assisted knives are always two hand close for me. This is a single hand close, and it is great. I have zero problem with the assist on this knife. No problem. So for those of you that always get on my case because I don't like assisted knives, uh, I'm coming to the dark side. It's all good. I like this one uh, very much. Now, come on. 
focus. See, now we're going to deal with because this is dark. So we'll have to see if maybe this isn't the right answer either. Uh, we're going to, when I get down here, it fights with, fo you know what? I'll tell you what, I know what I'm doing wrong. Let's just do that. Yeah, see, now we're going to be fine. There's just too much stuff in the shot. That's what it was. All right, so we're good. Thank you guys for your patience as I try to figure all this out. Now, the lighting does look better on this for sure. Uh, so you do have a very nice, um, you can kind of see the grind lines, but it's in a very, it's a very aggressive stone wash. Um, it's funny that you can still see some of the grind lines through there, but I think it looks great. Let me wipe the blade. Maybe that's what I'm kind of what I'm seeing because I have been cutting with this this morning. Um, by the way, very thin stock, and then we've swedged this down. Now, you guys know I always say when you have a very tall flat grind and then you follow that up with a long swedge, what that does is it gives you very little resistance through the material. I love a swedge like this. You do have Kershaw right here, uh, and you have their, um, oh, sorry, their in house design logo here. Um, it does say, what does that say? China in very small print right there. And then right here we have the number, uh, Kai USA D2 steel patent pending. Now this is in D2, uh, and it is, uh, sorry, I screwed up there because I get into that rhythm of, you know, you just got to get used to it for a minute and then you're okay. Um, but, uh, you know, it is D2 long as you keep it clean, guys, you're probably going to be fine. And you know I love the cutting power of D2. Now, you got a four-finger finger, you got a four finger handle here. And, guys, there are no hot spots. The clip feels fine. Uh, you do feel it, but it's fine. The jimping is great to lock you in. You can get above the jimping a little bit if you want, but you're still back on the end of the jimping there. It's great. Uh, very nice sharpening choil for sure. You're going to have plenty of edge life. Um, and if you want, you can choke up a little bit on that flipper tab. Just be careful, okay? Uh, all right, now I just cut, look at this, guys. I just cut a ton of cardboard uh, for cut testing, so we're good to go. So we're going to pull a piece out here, and we're going to see how we do. Now, I already know how this is going to do because I cut with it earlier. Um, I am very impressed because, again, what you've got is you've got a very thin stock, and you've swedged it, and you've got a tall... Uh, grind. This is a great drop point blade. You can see very slicey, especially with the grain here of the cardboard. Against it, no problem. Nice clean cut. Uh, I like this knife um, way more than I thought I would when I first got it in. So uh, very cool. Let's see. Uh, now I got a mess. All right, let's see what we've got here with our comparisons. So uh, our friend, the Ontario, let's move them down just a little bit. Our friend, the Ontario Rat 1, is definitely bigger, and we're not pivot to pivot because I can't even see the pivot. <laughs> and uh, there is your Rat 2. Uh, very cool uh, kind of size comparison here. Now, the only um, color I'm finding in this one so far, and you know Kershaw, they do a lot of that where they just put out one variant of a knife. Uh, and that's why I'm wondering if maybe they're going to do some scales. It is $54.95 at Blade HQ. I will leave a link down below. It's called the layup. If I didn't say that, I think I did. 7.875 inches. So that means we're just under 8. So we're going to just do this a lot. Here's your 8-inch Fractus comparison. Just slightly bigger. Tempest Fractus. Um, 3.5 on the blade. Uh and um, the cutting edge 3.25. Um, the stock is just 0 0.10 D2 drop point flat, plain edge, of course, four and a half inch blade. So we're right at that. It's funny, they got four and a half and they got three and a half, but they say it's 7.875. So interesting. Uh, 3.64, so perfect on the, the, um, uh, the weight to the length of the blade. And it is on bearings, and it is a Dura lock or crossbar lock. Um, and again, fifty-five dollars, guys. So I'm super impressed uh, with the Kershaw uh, layup. So what do you guys think of this one? Let me know down below. Is this one uh, that you're interested in? Uh, I would love to hear about it. Let's see. Let's put it. No, nah, that doesn't look right. See, we're still figuring this out, but that looks good. Um, so guys, let me know what you think and like. 
comment, subscribe. Uh, check me out on Instagram and stick around for a live stream Monday nights at 7.45 and other times as well. Uh, and guys, I appreciate each and every one of you for watching the Knives Fast channel.